New developments in the search for a predator who kidnapped a two-year-old girl at a Gardena car wash. Today, police released new security video of that man's car, and they're hoping someone will recognize that car and turn him in. CBS 2's Christy Fajardo is live in Gardena with the new developments tonight. Christy. Yeah, police have new video, as you said, of that car. And by the end of the day, they are hoping to have even more. At this hour, police say the little girl is with her family. Detectives tell us she was harmed during the ordeal, but are not elaborating on how. Telling us tonight they want the focus to stay on catching her kidnapper. Detectives are hoping bloodhounds and new video will put them on the trail of a kidnapper. Last night, Casey Sangprahan, who works at Smiley Thai in Cudahy, says he saw just white car only. Minutes later, he came out of the restaurant again and was stunned to see this toddler whose face we blurred to protect her identity. She was alone and crying. I saw the girl sitting over there on the floor and no clothes, no nothing. Police believe the white car he saw was this Nissan Altima, also spotted at the scene of the girl's kidnapping 10 miles away in Gardena. Detectives say the 2008 to 2012 model with tinted windows was captured on video circling. The first picture shows a grainy license plate police are now working to enhance. Later images suggest he may have removed the plates before snatching the two-year-old girl. This man is a child predator. He is out there and we need the public's help to find him. Police say yesterday evening the child and an older sister were with their mom at a self-service car wash on Western Avenue in Gardena. Mom heard the toddler yell mommy and then couldn't find her. The family's anguish was clear. Just bring her to us safe. A few hours later, the toddler was discovered abandoned in Cudahy, where bloodhounds are now hunting for the kidnapper scent. And this evening, detectives are following up with known criminals who drive white Altimas, vowing to chase every lead until the kidnapper is caught. Uh, we're going to find this guy. Detectives spent the day going building to building along Western Avenue, both commercial and residential. They are looking for more video that might show the car and also the kidnapper. And police tell us once they get more images, they will release them to the public immediately. Live in Gardena, Christy Fajardo, CBS 2 News.